Well, hello, good morning. Welcome to my channel once again. As you can see, behind the wheel, I am on my way to uh, Sport Sportif this morning. It's the uh, Trent Valley 100, which is from Gainsborough this Sunday morning. It's a very wet day as well. Lots of overnight rain, so there's lots of standing water. And, well, this could be on and off rain throughout the, throughout the morning. But I don't think it's going to be anything as uh, wet as overnight. That's the forecast out of the way with. Um, so the route itself, I'll be, yeah, it's heading south. Uh, basically, it goes all the way around Lincoln, loads of connecting small villages uh, through Bardney to Bournemouth, uh, and then on to Lincolnshire Wolds. Uh, eventually passing through places such as uh, Donington on Bain, uh, Ludford. Probably going to have to take it a bit steady because all the cause all the water on the roads. And I'll be taking the bends particularly careful this morning. Anyway, that's the weather forecast over. Hope you enjoy the rest of this vlog, what's, what's to come, and hopefully I won't get too wet. Okay, I picked up my envelope. Going to get my numbers on. Get out of that, and I'm just going to indulge in a flapjack and some haribos. So I get one of those. Oh, one of these lemon. They're all lemon. Oh, there is a choice. Lin lemon or ginger. Or one of each. Nah, I'll just take one. <laughs> As you can see in front of me, they've got the Barnsley Road Club. I can see a shirt of a Grimsby Tri. Okay, so fairly straightforward. We're not racing today, it's not for missions to racing, and there's no awards for getting back first other than getting first in the showers. Are you all ready? Well, as you can no doubt see, it is raining. It's been raining all night. And five minutes past the start line, it started raining again. Today's ride is meant to be 104 miles. It may end up being 60. We're just rolling up towards the first feed station of this ride. The village of Colby, which is on the Lincoln Edge. A few blue skies ahead. Bus fingers. Who's right for the rest of the day? Well, as you can see, the sky has uh, the blue skies made an appearance. Which means we uh, we can take the waterproofs off when we get to the first speed station. Seen a, a similar bike to mine, it's got all the greens and everything. Yeah. Different frame though. Yeah. Even the water bottles are the same. <laughs> well, I've arrived here at the uh, Colby Hill, the, the feed station. Got here about a quarter of an hour ago, I had to catch my breath because it's a big hill. So I'm um, just about to leave and continue the ride into the wild. But it's been a very, very wet ride so far. But uh, hopefully, without seeing the rest of the rain, there's just going to be puddles everywhere. I don't think it's going to be much fun on the wilds actually. Uh, I don't think it's going to be much fun at all. So the limit screw must roll so we drop down into the Finally on the move again now. And as it stopped raining, I've been able to uh, take the camera out properly. So I'm just flying towards the Lincolnshire Wolds now. Nice, nice tailwind. I'm not going to enjoy it on the way back. But uh, heading towards Tealby, that's the next uh, stop. I don't know how far that is away. About 50k into the ride so far. Weather has improved a little bit. The rain has stopped, but there's so much standing water around, it's not going to disappear all day. But uh, some nice pace going on. Just heading into the wasp's nest right now, so just like to say thank everybody for watching over the course of last year's 
it's nice snowing everybody uh, hopefully I'll see you on the other side of the nest no, but seriously though, if anybody got any history about why this place is called the Wasp's Nest, stick in the comments area below. Or just make something up. This is a nice avenue. Look at this. Let me go up a little bit higher. I think I survived the wasps. Threat is over. I have survived the wasp apocalypse. But well, I think we have cow shutters ahead who have not been so lucky. Hey yo. Hi. And he goes by the name of Dwayne Bernard. It's Augustine there for the team. So heading toward Bardi now. Uh, been a few months since I've been down this road, very flat, and last time I was here, it was Jordan Nordax. Oh, yeah, I think it was an Nordax. No, it was a Sportif. Well, whatever it was, it was into a headwind, but it was a, uh, it's lovely around here. I mean, just look how flat that is. It's like being in South Lincolnshire. So yesterday's ride, the Wisdom and Blues, hopefully, you watch that, if not, I'll stick a link in the top uh, corner of the screen. It was the final Audax ride of the 2019 uh, season. It's now come to an end. Well, it comes to an end on Monday, tomorrow. But for me, it's, it's, yesterday was the end of the season. Or oh, today, really, I could have made it a DIY, but uh, I didn't want to in the end. Yeah, and today is the final sportive of the 2019 season as well. So, yeah, it's quite an important weekend of cycling, really, for me. Finals, final Dax Ride, final Sporty. So, just coming towards La 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 Bomba, got Whisperton coming up on the right in about a mile or so. I usually know I'm getting close. By the way, the trees are marked all the way up, evenly spaced. I look over my right and shoulder. The sun is trying to get out, but as you just saw on the road, it's helping to. Uh, it's not. It's, it's not a cold day today. It's quite mild, so the uh, the puddles are drying up a little bit. But it's been an exceptionally uh, wet week all round, really. I only missed one day off commuting, and that was to take a delivery been doing the escape plan challenge on Strava for this entire month of September I've missed two days so that's brilliant Woo! some guys from uh, Barnsley Cycling Club again in the teal and white black tops so we're in an absolutely beautiful part of the world now just gone up when stale bottom the name suggests you go straight to the rug, dig yourself out. So, uh, swing the camera around off into uh, Donington and Bain now. So, we'll quickly into the village yourself and then climb back out again alongside Belmont, the Belmont transmitter. And that'll be the day in the world's finish with. So, let's get it done. Okay, let's get to our next feed station in Tealby forward to a nice cup of coffee. Okay, I'm at the final food station of the day. This is fantastic, the building. Well, I'm just about to leave the uh, feed station here at Teal Bay. It's a beautiful location. Just been uh, waiting it out because it absolutely, the heavens have just opened. So just been waiting for a few minutes for it to stop or to at least slow down. So uh, yeah, get back on the road again. The next 30, 35 miles coming off the walls in the next, I don't know, 20 minutes. Just one climb to do. And then uh, straight onto the flat. 
Look at that sky. Looks a bit grim. Well, just enjoy a great shower, having finished the Trent Valley 100 here at Gainsborough. And I must say, that was the wettest sportive this year. Absolutely atrocious. All the dikes were full and filling up with water, puddles, uh, floods, absolutely everything thrown at me today. And it's been quite windy at times as well. So, uh, having said all that, thoroughly enjoyed it. Absolutely brilliant. Well, that was a very wet sportive. I hope we managed to. Uh, show you enough to keep you entertained on this vlog look at me now walking back to the car with my sandals it has nearly stopped raining this is uh, how things usually work <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed watching this uh, this video and I shall uh, catch you in a future video not sure what it's gonna be I think it's probably an old, old axe next weekend hopefully it will be dry but who knows Fingers crossed, heading into October now, so you know what the weather's like, it's subject to change. But hopefully it will be nice and dry and not too cold. <laughs> well anyway, for me take care, I shall see you again soon, bye bye.